Okay, students, good day to everyone. Let's quickly discuss the approach of calculating risk adjusted VAC. What is the approach of calculating risk adjusted VAC? Step one for finding out the risk adjusted VAC, step one is to find beta asset of new industry. To find beta asset of new industry, one possibility examiner might give you, chances are almost zero. The second possibility is obviously in the new industry where your business is diversifying, you will be using the proxy company's beta equity you have to de gear the proxy company beta equity to convert that into beta asset so step one is to find beta asset of new industry what do we do we take proxy company beta equity just de gear and you will get beta asset once you have found beta asset of the new industry take this beta asset Gear up, gear up with your own financial gearing. Gear up with your own financial gearing or, or project a specific financial gearing if it is given to you. So by gearing a beta asset, you will get beta equity. Once you have found the beta equity, obviously then this beta equity by using capital asset pricing model, CAPM, you can calculate KE. So quick, let me give you a revision of how to calculate risk adjusted VAC. Step one, to find beta asset of the new industry, take the proxy company beta equity, degear it, get beta asset. Once you have found the beta asset, gear up with your own financial gearing or project specific gearing if it is given to you. Third, once you have calculated beta equity, then obviously by using CAPM, by using this beta equity into CAPM, you can calculate KE. And a very important announcement, I just need 30 seconds, that is entire AFM students, you people can now revise the entire AFM in my smart revision. I just need 10 hours of yours. Within 10 hours, things can change for you. So seriously, we just need 10 hours. Just spend 10 hours and revise each and everything of advanced financial management for the coming attempt. So that is going to be a really big game changer. So thank you very much.